Hi, and welcome to NTI Online. My name is David Nicholson, and today we're going to be talking about error codes 105 and 107. Both of these error codes relate to an overheat situation on the boiler. We'll start with 105 because there's more information to give you about this one. First thing you want to check whenever you see an overheat code is you want to go into your history by tapping the history button, hit the OK button, and then the boiler is going to display the existing error code followed by the date and time and the number in the memory. So the date and time was not set when this code was triggered, so we see dashed lines. If you hit the minus button, you can see the next error in the history, and so on as we go down through the list. The boiler will store up to 10 error codes, starting at error 0, which is the oldest, and error 9 being the most recent. To get back out of this menu, just tap the escape key. If you have an error code 105 and you've noticed that the boiler is very hot and you see you have overheat codes including 1P1, 1P2, 101, 104, 103, 102, I would recommend that you check out our video on error code 101 because all of the troubleshooting in that video will cover everything you need to look at for this. But in brief, air in the system, a failed circulator, a plugged up plate exchanger or indirect tank, possibly a sensor failure, uh, could all contribute to getting a 105 code. Effectively, it means there's a lack of water flow in the system. Now, there's a very important thing to check on this code. If you have no overheat situation and you're only seeing 105 in the error history, it may indicate that you've got an older version of software and need to upgrade the control board. To do that, press and hold OK and escape at the same time. After about five seconds, 222 comes up on the screen in the word code. Use the plus button to enter the code 234 and press OK. Now you see the word menu, press OK, and you're presented with a flashing zero. Sometimes you'll see three dashed lines and after a few seconds it will go to the zero. That's fine, just wait for it. In order to check the software revision, we need to go up to menu 8, press OK, menu 5, press OK, and then menu 5 again, press OK. So we're going to menu 855. The software revision will scroll across the screen. So in this case, we see 104-00. That indicates that this is one of the most recent versions of the software. However, if you found a version number 4403 or 4401, you should contact NTI Technical Support. We'll send you a new control board for this boiler. And the reason you're getting the code is most likely due to that. If you have an error code 107, the answer is to replace the control board, but it's always a good idea to check the software revision to see which one you have. Thank you for joining NTI Online today. Hopefully this helps you and have a good day.